Yo, <laughs> all right, how's it going? How's it, how you doing? How's your mother? Okay, let me chill, let me chill. But not though, in this video, we are going to be doing the pros and cons of Project Newcastle. I'm doing this video because mainly, like, I just want to point out all the things that they did wrong. And, you know, we're not just pointing out the wrong, too. we're pointing out the good and what makes this Bleach game stand out from the rest. So, hey. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. Comment your favorite part of the video. If you want to. I mean, it's all a choice, but I mean, I recommend it. And hey, run up that Discord too. Join up. Link is in the description. But hey, all this leads up to our first con, which is this game is a cash grab. Let's be real. Like, bro, when I tell you I spent over a thousand robux just off re-rolling my riatsu like come on bro are you serious and look i had to buy the skip for like the spin like your clans things because i had to buy it I ain't gonna lie they did that on purpose they made like the cut thing so long because our right, let's say you have a hundred spins you're not finna sit there for like like what? You're not gonna sit there for 20 minutes just waiting for it, but like they're forcing you to buy. Cause we not doing all that. Uh, amount of codes they be dropping and wanting us to spend. Nah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. They got us with that one. So I be paying, I paid for that hundred Robux. That's already another one down the drain. And what else? Oh, the, like the, like you know how like you don't have to pay for Robux for everything. It's gonna be like in-game currency, but the in-game currency is so high, like what? It's like 15,000. To re-roll your freaking ability is 85,000. 85,000. <laughs> like, are you getting what I'm saying, bro? They're basically just forcing you to buy Robux, Robux, bro. And a lot of people bought the, the mastery and stuff, the game pass, because it takes so long to progress in this game. But that leads us into our other second con. The progression. Well, mainly hollow progression. Like, when I tell you I spent like dead ass 15 hours on that hollow progression. I mean, it was kind of my fault. But like, I think like normally it's like 7 hours or 10. But I'm not the only one struggling on it. Like, I mean, like, it's, I don't know. It's just, it can be really boring. But I mean, that's just with every progression and stuff like that. But I heard that Reaper, because I didn't play Reaper 2 like that. I heard Reaper 2 wasn't as bad as Project Mugetsu progression. But man, it's crazy. And that meditation, <laughs> that meditation, boy, oh boy. Boy, I've never been so freaking bored and bloodshot in the eyes ever before. Because that's crazy, but... But all right, for all that being said, let's hop into the pros. You feel me? I know some of y'all click on this just to see the pros. So our first pro is 